what are you, and I'm going to ask you a similar question in a second, but what do you hope an audience or a, a gallery goer or a museum goer brings in to, when well, they come to see your work? Whatever, whatever they want, because I, I prefer to not give the answers or to tell what it was about, because if you do that, once an artist does that, it's over. That's all they can see, and that's all anyone can get out of it. So I, pr I prefer, in the early work, I was so like, control with it that you saw what I said you saw basically and I put every element in there's really not a lot left for that I mean you know there can be imagination mm -hmm. brought to it but um, I kind of I knew what it should be about um, around the early around the end of the 80s in 1990 um, the work was just the ideas were just coming out from somewhere I didn't know so I just presented this thing there was a beginning and end, but I didn't know, you know, I had my ideas what the beginning and end were, and the audience could have their own. So I do prefer, prefer um, gallery and museum visitors, and, or audience I call them, to uh, bring whatever they can to it. And hopefully if they get something great, if not, then they can move to the next piece. Mm -hmm. Beowulf, well, how, uh, how about your work? Is there, are there expectations that when you get a Beowulf for it design that you have to by, is, and is there a thread to, uh, yeah, to I your think, design? You know, I, I will say that I sort of strive to not have a personal style, and I'm sure that I have one. I, and I, when I talk to directors who I work with, I think they, they probably, when they call me for a show, they want whatever thing it is that I do. I try very much to, to tag into whatever director I'm working with and do something very different based on that, um, which makes the work more interesting to me. It, makes the, it gives me a lot more variety in what I'm doing. Um, I think my taste is, you know, what, what I guess what flows through my better work, and I, you know, I just in the process of making a living doing theater, I, you know, do some work that I'm not so proud of sometimes, but the stuff that I really do feel like is art, and I'm really sort of getting at something I like, um, I would say that there is, there's an idea to whatever the set is, and it's usually something simple but kind of big that, that, uh, that answers every questions about every kind of detail of the set to me, um, you know, whatever that may be for the production. Uh, a show I did recently, I... Uh, I sort of thought of it as, as kind of a ghost story of, of these these uh, boys who'd been wrongly accused of a crime, and it was it was the story of their incarceration. Um, and the set was it was just kind of three framed uh, uh, sort of skeletal frames that kind of racked at a weird angle going into the distance, and they were all painted white. But to me, the the image of that set was I'd found these pictures of and it was probably animal bones, like bleached animal bones, kind of sticking out of the ground. Um, and I don't think any audience member would ever have looked at that set and thought, oh, it's a skeleton on stage. But that was, that was sort of what led me to the thing, that it was this kind of the, the bones of these boys who had been uh, wrongly accused of a crime uh, kind of hurtling through space as they, they lived in limbo in, in jail. Um, uh, I think I've sort of gotten off track, but it, but I but I wouldn't I wouldn't expect an audience to get that from it. But it that sort of helped me make any decision I needed to make about what the set looked like, even though I wasn't literally trying to replicate that idea. And I think my better work does tend to do that. I, there's there's an idea behind what the set is, and then beyond that, what the actual visual choices are sometimes not so important to me. I always feel weird as a set designer saying I don't actually care what it looks like. And it's, it's cavalier, I don't really mean that. Obviously I care what it looks like. I want it to be you know, attractive or appropriate or whatever it's supposed to be. But whether, you know, whether it's pink or blue or you know, steel or wood, those choices are not so important to me. They need to be appropriate for the piece and they need to tie into whatever the idea is. But as long as they're true to the idea, you know, if, if a metal set works just as well as a wood set for the idea, I don't necessarily have a strong opinion about which it ought to be. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and I think it'll work equally well with either choice. So I, I, I find that the, 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 I, the concept is very important to me, and the actual style choices of what the things are are often less important to me. When you're through with the set and the play is on the way, um, are you done? 
I am. I often, you know, for, I'm leaving town tomorrow morning, so I won't even be here for the opening night performance of the lighthouse. So there's no, there's nothing that you have to do during, like, if a production's going on for a year, that you're out after the first. Pretty much, yeah. I, you know, it, if for shows that run for a while, theoretically, I stop back in and have a look at, you know, the set and say, oh, that needs to be fixed. But I found that the reality of commercial theater is, I can walk in and say, oh, that, you know, the paint's worn away there. We should fix that and the producers don't want to spend the money. They'd rather have the worn paint no. than pay for it to get fixed. So I, you know, it just irritates them when I come in and say, you need to fix that. <laughs> Nick, what about you when you have a show go up? You're, you have com ultimate control over your artwork, and it's not a collaborative thing when you're making the art. What about putting the show up? What do you play? What role do you play? I used to play none. I used to actually just, um, I didn't care how it was, uh, what piece was next to what. I sort of felt, um, that the work took care of itself and that it held its own no matter how it was installed. Um, since I've been living in Santa Fe and there's no, you know, it's not so much about the narrative uh, as it is the actual sort of installation, I've become completely involved. And, uh, and the reason why is because what I do basically now is I stare at an empty space for a while and then decide what I'm going to do with it if I don't already have a plan. And, and I'm, I've been enjoying doing that with gallery spaces. So I have to be um, totally involved in the installation. The, the installation in Houston has this 20 image piece and um, how, how do I explain what they look like? But anyway, I sort of recreated one of these little sets into um, 32 foot wide by 30 foot deep piece, so it really confuses the space, and that's kind of what I really enjoyed. It's just, um, now I'm kind of just interested in the space and the objects, and the making, you know, making a handmade. Hand, that's why I like theater, really. It's handmade. You know, I like this handmade um, look of my work. Um, I've, people have said, oh, your work is so slick, and as soon as they say that, I'm like, it's not slick. I mean, I have to do something to unslick it. I've never, I've never... <laughs> I've actually never thought it was because it was so kind of my hand, you know, and, um, but now I do like the, sort of the, the made part of it. I mean, I, th I think that's what, I, I don't really know much about theater or I've seen it, but I, I love that quality about it, which makes it even more surreal than mm -hmm. real.